Hey y'all, so I'm just gonna come out here and pick some tomatoes and thought I'd say hi. Not much going on here. I'll show you a few things I did in the garden, but it's kind of in a holding pattern for for some beans to get ready. And uh, I planted some more peas. And it's like six o'clock in the evening and I'm getting back out there just for a few minutes to pick some tomatoes because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and it is hot out here. All right, let's go. I think we'll walk this way. This is the flower garden area in the herb spiral back there. And that's my chamomile. And I've been using that quite a bit. I've got some sad little watermelons down there that's not doing anything. And I put a cantaloupe down here. So this just tells me I need to get this in better order. And um, as far as nutrients going, it's okay for flowers, but anything else is not happy and i've got to feed the fish and clean their filters but they're happy little fellows did some work and i'm going to do some more work on their area so this is just the flower garden area these are the wayside weeds by the wayside not worrying about by the wayside look at these peppers guys aren't those nice i did a little bit of work here I put some uh, strings up just to give some support to things that's growing like the pepper plants and uh, the pepper plants. There's some collards down there and some basil and that's a tomato. I found out what's eating on that. Those are birds because they're, they're eating on this and they're just coming down there pecking and eating on the tomatoes also. So it wasn't a hornworm and I've got some beans to pick over here. And this is all the tomatoes back there. And I have some that I'm going to pick over there. And I have lima beans getting pretty. Again, I supported everybody in here. The flowers and the collards. Lots of bees and things. And what I did here was I took and cut the beans off and put those in the compost and I put peas in the holes of those over there where there's a big hole. I've got some peas started there. I've got some peas started here and we got more peppers there. We got peas coming there. That'll be, they're starting to climb. So worked on that a little bit. I put some more peas down here we got more tomatoes coming on there. Looks like the San Marzano. And uh, Fred lounging. He kind of, you see Fred over there. <laughs> Fred! What are you doing? Hi, Fred. And um, one of my friends online was talking about his squash. And I've kind of not done much with the squash. You see the bugs? So every time I go for one, they're eating up. But they're loaded with uh, squash bugs, squash beetles, and so we do have a cucumber under there. I'm surprised there's a cucumber under there because I weed eat it out here the other day, and I thought I got all my cucumber vine. Wasn't sure, but not sure where all he goes. I probably did get one of them, but. All right, we got some more basil up here. I moved him from down there up to here. We got peppers coming on here. They're happy in the sunshine. We got corn eight or nine foot tall right there. See that corn? This is, this is head high for me and it keeps going way up there. It's crazy corn. They're too thick, but they're still growing. And this is growing pretty good too. So, um, still getting blackberries. Blueberries are done. Um, just this and that. That's a late tomato I planted in there. Just to have one going. Swinging around. That's a 4th of July early tomato. We'll be picking some off of that one. This one got finished up by hornworm that I never did find. I am so upset that I didn't find that last hornworm. So he's gone off to make a cocoon somewhere and come back and eat next year. 
and uh, this one this early doll is finished I set this one in some water to see if that made any difference so far no blossom in rot on those that's left that the hornworms didn't eat so let's go ahead and get this guy here see that's what they were doing so we'll see um, see if that helps so um, one of my subscribers 75 South Gardening I think told me that might be the problem because underwatering was an issue so I worked on that and that's my last attempt at that and look this is popcorn look how pretty the tassels are on the popcorn now popcorn's higher than my head also that is this is not but that was a new area that hasn't had much anything in there but flowers so maybe next year I'll get that corrected this is Gavin's little garden and we'll come back to here these are peas so they're beginning to run we got lima beans Christmas limas running and they didn't look they have a yellow tint to them so I fertilized everything really good yesterday this is um, honey and cream corn and I've just got that scattered in and out of everything I don't know if you can see but that's honey cream corn I fertilized like I said out here yesterday this is tasseling and it doesn't have a whole lot of corn on there this is butter peas they're beginning to shoot up there so I've got to come up with a trellis system I think for all that and we're back to the green beans so I'm going to the tomatoes and um, this is an okra he's getting bigger this is a pepper and a tomato and those are the white we we really like these peppers they're very good they're very good and uh, everyone so far is preferring those over everything else so here's the plum San Marzano and whatever tomato this is he's probably a Roma or one of those early tomatoes but this is the small this is the small okra that we planted on the video recently so he's doing good and my yarrow is not happy I don't know if he does it like water or not this guy I gotta stake up and get him off the ground I'm not quite sure what comes tomato he's just one I had left that didn't have a name left on him so I'm gonna pick the tomorrow and ooh, I have some peas down there you see those peas how about that didn't know I had some peas that's ready so I'll get him in the morning have you all ever tried a chocolate pear tomato this is a chocolate pear tomato and it just gets darker and a chocolatey looking they're very tasty very tasty so I'm gonna come back and get the rest of those in a minute I know the other day I said I didn't have any special bags but um, I ordered some to put in my freezer and um, they didn't have any bottoms of them they're just uh, grocery bags so I'm gonna use one of those out here so if you see my fancy little black and white bag I didn't do it specifically for the garden but I'm repurposing it so that's my fancy new bag so I got them anyway I just dug these I didn't know the camera had cut off but this is the tomato that I broke and he's still growing he's not died yet so hopefully that fix I did of where I put the soil all over the, the cracked area is working so I'm picking the tomatoes and those were on the ground um, and something is eating anything that's on the ground so one year I had a terrapin that was out here fox turtle or whatever you want to call them that was out here and uh, he was eating everything that was on the ground and I think I'll pull those onions tomorrow when I pick my beans all right this guy is on the ground so we're getting rain tomorrow 
so I'm afraid that if anything that's blushing that it will pop open from the rain that we get so anything that's blushing I'm gonna go ahead and harvest and try to get these guys off the ground see something ate that tomato I can't leave him on the ground I'll send him on his way all right going around over here and that's what happens when your trellis hits the ground it's not good but we'll be good I got plenty more tomatoes coming I share tomatoes with my friends. I may can a few, but not many. I may put some up with some peppers and basil and things like that. And these might, some of these are early determinant tomatoes. So once they finish, they'll be finished. They won't put another blush of tomatoes on go after these guys down here. I'm going to have to go around to the other side and get some. And uh, I'm not putting too much effort into these right here on the end just simply because they are determinants. But I would like for my aromas, which I've seen conflicting information about what's if Roma is a determinant or an indeterminant. You guys let me know about the Roma tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna have to watch out for my line I put up there. And I have to be careful not to step on my asparagus. I have a crazy little garden, but it's my little garden. And it's what I worked hard to get. So I work with it and I have a freezer full of food from last year so this little garden is plenty for the two of us this guy is blushed and the one next to him has been eaten I don't know what's eaten on him if we can prop this guy give him a chance to ripen up maybe okay yeah like I said I had a box turtle under here back here one year and I looked up one of my planters I had back here and uh, see this is what happens when your tomatoes are on the ground the bugs attacked it and that's that oh there you go look at that slugs I have a slug issue this year roly-polies slugs so we go ahead and harvest him but if your tomatoes hit the ground and you've got slugs and roly-polies that's what you're gonna get so I think I will put some slug bait back here too. Alright, we'll just go ahead and pull those two. Ooh, those don't smell good. <laughs> Leave those down there. Watch my head. Alright. So tomorrow morning is the harvest morning for more things. So that leaves those. And that is the same tomato that I had issues with in the grow bag. It's the early girl. And it's just done what wonders back here out of a grow bag. So I do need to come prune. 
This is probably water damage. Need to get some airflow in there. And uh, over there, I don't see. Oh, look at here. We got to go back around and get this tomato. See, it's a long ways around if I don't do it when I go down the first path to come back around. All right, this guy just has a small bite out of it. But this, this is the biggest tomato yet. Look at that. That's nice. That's my hand. And that's that one. All right. There are some on the ground. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick those that's on the ground just because I know what's gonna happen. Now, if I don't. All right, so this guy's off the ground. So that leaves no one on the ground. Those guys are not on the ground. All right, I have to go back and get my bag and come back. I wasn't going to get dirty. It's hard to get to the garden and not get dirty. What do y'all think? Do y'all always get dirty in the garden? Alrighty. That bag's pretty full. Look at that. Alright, pick these little ones. here. Come on. Thank you. Not letting me do it one handed, guys. This guy. So we got him propped off the ground. Alright, we're gonna get these guys. If we touch them, they fall off. The pear tomatoes. If they're anywhere near right, they just fall off. So get these. I have San Marzano and Romas out here. In the chocolate pears. I'm just gonna get that handful. Just like that. If you touch them, they fall off. Okay. And he's got his vine all the way out to there. So I did some supporting yesterday and had tomatoes dropping. So there's two. Anybody else ready? This was the tomatoes that the storm laid over. Not quite sure what's going on with these. I'm going to go ahead and just remove these. They're not looking healthy at all. Fertilized him good yesterday with two different types of fertilizer. But he just looks kind of diseased. Those are not looking that way yet. Right there. So maybe. We'll see. Alright, I'm going to go put these in the compost bin. I don't have any animals to feed them to, so I use them for compost. All right. Thanks guys. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you. Bye bye. A lot of mosquitoes out here. I'm going to get in before I get bit. So here is what it looks like at bean level. All those beans there and all those beans. So there's beans up through there. They're hard to see from the top. 
put that some peas. All right, those may have been volunteer because I don't want them plant any peas. And what I wanted to also tell you about is that when you're picking these beans, give some support right at the stem, which is hard to do when you're on camera, but give some support up there so you don't break your limb. And then you have your beans or peas to keep coming. But if you break that stem, they can't keep coming. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick all the beans off and then hopefully we'll get one more flush or one more blooming of these beans. So I wanna throw that in there and let you know my camera battery is, uh, or my camera is full, so I may not be doing a proper sign off. But if you guys are enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe and uh, share if you have folks you'd like to share with. And also come back and see me on a regular basis. And I may not have a whole lot going on in a small backyard, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing in my backyard. And um, we'll just hang out together and find things to do, like look at beautiful tomatoes down there on the other side. That looks like the one I broke. So he's still hanging in there. Look at that, guys. Isn't that a miracle? All right. And here we are in the air conditioning, and that's my bowl of beans. That's a big bowl of beans. And I'm shelling them out just to have some mixed beans. And I had a few snap beans, so I forgot to make the ending of how much I'd gotten. So that's what it is. We're in the air conditioning and getting these ready to go in the freezer. Thank you for stopping by as we learn, adapt, and grow. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Appreciate you guys. So please come back and see me.